Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit of a different one, which I'm actually really excited to film. So I really want to start to incorporate kind of more lifestyle, kind of health and well-being on my channel because I'm super into trying to live more of a healthy um, lifestyle. So I wanted to kick things off with my first video and share with you some of my top tips and simple ways to get into shape for summer and feel good about yourself for summer. So I'm not saying I'm the fittest person or the things that I'm going to share with you is all you need to be doing to be living like a healthy lifestyle um, but these are just some things that I've been doing lately that I've been really loving and really enjoying and they've been making me feel really good. So I want to give a shout out to Asim who have sent me over a really cool tool that I'm really excited to share with you and I think it's going to be an amazing tool for any guys who are maybe going on holiday any beach vacation holidays I think it's a great tool because it's actually a tool that is going to target kind of cellulite um, on your legs and things so I want to quickly share it with you because I'm so excited about it and I've just started using it myself and I'm really enjoying it so I am only on my first session of it but let me just get it and I will show you this is it here that I'm talking about this is Asim's Ultra Sonic Technology Massager so this is the outer packaging of it of course and the actual the actual product is this guy right to you which is super super cool let me just read a little bit about this just in case you're not familiar with this so it is a massager that basically targets your your bum and your legs and your thigh area create an ass you'll love with the new Asim ultrasonic technology massager it's advanced technology uses the same high level sound wave technology used by beauty professionals to penetrate deeper than the dermal layer to lift, tighten and reduce cellulite. So I'm going to talk you through the different settings on it in a minute uh, but also with the massager if you buy it in the starter kit you do get um, a little pack like this with a few different serums in it and also a gel. So I'll just get them out and I'll show you. So here we get three serums and a gel like that. Now what you do is you take one of the serums, uh, whichever one you prefer, there's zero gravity, zero fat and zero cellulite, uh, but you take whatever one you would like and you rub it on to the area that you're going to be massaging. So you rub it all over your bum area and also a little bit down your thigh as well where obviously we get some cellulite. And then what you do is, is you take a little bit of the ultrasonic um, absorption gel and you just apply a thin layer of this on to the base of the massager right here and then you will turn it to whatever setting you would like so hopefully I'm not blinding here but we have a few different settings here we have an on button of course we have a RF button we have a CV button and we also have a LED button so basically they all do slightly different things. Now I'll read a little bit about what it says here. I'll also put some bullet points just to the side as well so it's a little bit easier for you to understand. But it says here that this is a 1MHZ ultrasound therapy that is usually employed by professional slimming machines. It makes use of high frequency vibrations caused by ultrasound therapy to remove cellulite that is buried deep under the skin reduce the percentage of stubborn fat cells and work on achieving the slimmer and body shaping effects. That is that setting there that you can use. Um, the one that I used last night is the RF one because it does uh, recommend to start with that which is the radio frequency firming and surface cellulite removal. So this is a 6 million times per minute a high frequency radio waves for skin tightening, reducing cellulite and lightening fine lines. So I'm just going to show you, I'm going to turn it on here. So we're holding the button, which is the on button. And you can actually see it's a little bit better when I've not my bright lights on, but it's actually lit up here. I will do like a little close up and things of it so you can see it a little bit better. Um, but you can turn it to the RF mode. The RF one is probably the main one and that is for bottom cellulite reduction. Um, bottom skin tightening, bottom slimming effect, body shaping, bottom skin conditioning improvement and vitality. And then the other setting we have is LED airbrushing. So this is basically uses um, red and blue lights um, that are cold lights for high intensity. They can help with improving the condition of the skin and help 
you regain young and flexible skin texture so we can stick that button on and I don't know if you can see that lighting up here it's really cool at night time you know it's like a little disco at the bottom there basically what you do with this is once you've applied your um, serum to your bum and also the gel onto the base of that you will then use this and um, you will you will take your massager and you will kind of move it around the bum area and the thigh area um, that you want to basically reduce the fat and the cellulite. So you use this for five minutes. It will beep when the five minutes is up basically. And then you can move on to your other um, bum cheek and thigh area. Now obviously you can select whatever um, setting you would like uh, but it is recommended to start off with the RF one and work your way to the CV and the LED. Um, settings so I started with the RF last night and then I moved on to the CV and the LED so I basically used all the settings um, last night um, and that's when I could really really feel the effects on my bum area afterwards you know so you can increase the waves and the vibration of the massager so um, at first you might not feel the vibration like the vibration is not um, very noticeable if you know what I mean like you can't really feel it vibrating but it definitely is working so by the five minutes you will start to feel your bum um really starting to kind of heat up like not super super hot until the five minutes is up basically so once the five minutes has you know once you've done your five minutes that is when you actually start to feel the heat in your bum area but um, it's not like an uncomfortable like heat, you just can feel it getting hot and hotter but that's like really kind of working deep right under the skin. So like, I'm on my first session of this, like I just used it last night like I said. Um, you, it's recommended to do it every three days and by six to ten um, times I think it is when you actually see it taking like effect really. So yeah, I think it's a really good device, it is quite an expensive device. Um, I will leave all the information about it down below in the description box for you. Um, but yeah, if you're really into like, your fitness and you really like to keep a uh, good care of your body and you maybe suffer with a bit of cellulite or even quite a lot of cellulite then it may be quite a good tool to check out um so yeah like i said i will leave all the information down below um, if you're interested in it guys and also guys i will update you on my experience with this in the next month or so um, because it is recommended to like it is recommended that after six or eight i think six or ten i think it is six eight or ten is um, sessions you will start to kind of see the effect um, so yeah I will update you because I'm really really intrigued about this and I hope it really works so I will um, give you a little update um, a little bit further down the line oh and I forgot to mention you do get a little USB charger with it because it is a wireless device you know there's no wires you don't plug in anything so you just use this to charge it up so that is it about this little massager and I want to thank Asim for sending me this over I'm really intrigued to see how it works for me and um, excited to keep using it so of course this is a great little massager and tool to use to physically help with cellulite and body shape but of course we've got to be aware of what we really put into our bodies as well like such as our diet so that's going to move me on now to my next few tips these are kind of quite these are my top tips and they're quite kind of simple tips my first tip is clean eating so I keep more of a plant-based diet uh, and I have for many many years I eat lots of vegetables and lots of fruit so the vegetables I eat on an everyday basis are broccoli, carrots, mushrooms, peas, courgettes, cauliflower and so many more um, so I eat them all the time and of course these are all great for the body and they are all high in vitamins one of my favourite dishes that I make all the time and I want to share with you is a green Thai curry so I use a lot of broccoli in this a lot of carrots and um, courgettes and peas and mushrooms um, so broccoli is a great it's a great source of vitamin K um, it's also that mean got vitamin C in it as well. It's also a good source of folic acid um, and it provides a lot of potassium and fibre for the body. Um, and of course, vitamin C builds up the collagen. So I eat a lot of broccoli because it's just so good for the body. Um, now I have a little recipe book here which I think some of you guys might be quite interested in um, and I've been using it for quite a few months now and I've been loving a lot of the recipes in it because everything in it is basically what I have sort of been eating for years but this sort of gives you more of an idea of how to use each of the foods that I buy all the time so it is this book here 
it's the How Not To Die cookbook from Michael Greger. Um, this is such a great, great book. If you are plant-based or if you are vegetarian, then this is a great, great, great book. Um, the meals that I have tried a lot of them in here and they are absolutely delicious. So he has um, things in here for, you know, like your breakfast ideas, there's snacks and there's also a bit all about um, how to make your own dressings because a lot of time a lot of salad dressings are quite high in fats um, and sugars and salts really. So yeah, there's a soup section and um, there's also a section for burgers and wraps and I tell you, I'll actually get the one that I'm really enjoying. Like I love this one. This is the black bean burgers recipe that's it there and I absolutely love this this is gorgeous and this is basically just made with rolled oats like just oats normal oats and it's gorgeous like that obviously like you've got a lot of uh, kind of like um, spices and things like that in there and like um onions and mushrooms and like that but um the bulk of the burger like to actually make the burger is oats that you use and it's really really nice so I'm loving that um recipe there's a section all about how to make more kind of healthier sweet options and um, there's pictures for every single recipe which i think is amazing so it's a really nice visually designed and detailed book and um, there's a section at the back as well for um drinks so it's got this pumpkin pie smoothie drink idea here there's also one here which is really nice which is raspberry it's sort of cherry the cherry smoothie so that one there i have a lot of cherry smoothies actually and that's what I'm going to speak to you about next um so also what I'd like to start my day off really with is a smoothie so as I said I like to eat a lot of fruit and I'm not really huge on like veggie kind of smoothies and a lot of people like those kind of um power smoothies and things like that in the morning you know made with like celery and things like that like I'm not huge on that like I can't really stomach much of that as much as I love vegetables but that gets me um but I love fruit smoothies so basically um every morning well most mornings i start my day off with a smoothie of some sort so i like to use like cherries raspberries strawberries um mango kiwi apple lemon and i like to whiz them all up and have that as a real nice kind of sweet power drink and smoothie in the morning. I also like to have one in the afternoon and the evening as well. Well sometimes I'll just have it once a day, some days I'll have it two times a day or maybe more just depending on how I'm feeling. But I also like to get my kind of fruit in it as well because I get like a lot of veggies in the day so I like to um, have some fruit as well. So yeah that's just some things that I've been doing lately to try and keep a little bit more healthy. So that's just one of my top tips and keeping a little bit more healthy um, and just like watching what you're eating in terms of eating more kind of clean food basically adding a lot of vegetables into your diet and adding a lot of fruit into your diet and um, so yeah that's just some things that I have been doing lately really loving and I can actually see the benefits um physically and um, for myself and also externally you know, like my skin and things that are looking uh, it's looking better so yeah now another tip is to drink more water so I drink a lot of water a day like a ton of water and there's lots of benefits to keep hydrated and drink more water and um, a lot of you guys probably already know basically the, the benefits to drinking water and um, you know that it's great for flushing out um, any toxins in the body it improves your skin and your complexion it also prevents headaches and one of the great things i think as well about water is that the you can drink a lot of water and it actually kind of keeps you feeling full so you're not really going to overeat much like overeat so i drink a lot of water just basically because of that yeah there's lots of benefits to water i always have um, water on me i have this this full of water right now that i've been drinking while filming this um but yeah i always like to keep water on me because i just i love to keep hydrated really another tip i have is to exercise more this is something that i'm starting to get more into um i'm starting to get more cautious of like um the amount of exercise that i'm doing today really because i hadn't been doing that much really for a long time um so i'm starting to you know get a little bit more fitter and um, starting to incorporate a lot of different exercise moves and things like that I've never really done before like I'm using weights now um, so I'm going to get my weights and I'll show you the ones that I have been using these are the weights that I've been using right here um, I have these which are a 1.5 kilogram um, weights and then I have these ones here which are 
a um, two kilogram weight. So I switched between these. Sorry, I've got like a hair stuck to one of them there. Uh, but I switched between these um, depending on what type of workout that I'm doing um, that day. I also have um, slightly smaller ones as well, which I use when I'm doing a little bit more of cardio because like obviously you can't use really heavy weights when you're doing like some sort of kind of cardio um workouts well at least I can't anyway um so I use um heavier weights when I'm doing more strength workouts because actually strength workouts are actually really good um, in using weights actually strength workouts and weights are really good for burning fat so that's why I've been doing them quite a lot and um, I also like to use weights to try and give a little bit more shape on my shoulder area because when I put on weight I put it on all like a lot of it on my shoulders see like they really kind of hunch up if you know what I mean so yeah that's an area that I like to target quite a bit um, so yeah, that's the weights that I've been using. Um, I also follow Rebecca Louise Fitness here on YouTube. Um, I'll leave her channel down below if you haven't checked her out already. But um, she is like a fitness YouTuber and like she's great. Like I love a lot of her workouts and her routines. So I look forward to exercising because I just love the type of workout she does and just her in general. She's a really nice person. So yeah, that's just another tip that I would say is just to try and be a little bit more cautious of how much exercise you're doing a day. And um, because like obviously I eat um, quite a healthy diet. I have done for many years, but I haven't really kind of exercised that much. You know what I mean? So I'm just starting to kind of incorporate that into you know my lifestyle now to try and um become a little bit more fitter if you know what I mean fitter and healthier like these are my main goals right now um but yeah okay so another tip that I have that I've been loving doing lately because we're coming into the summer time is switching up my makeup so I've been going for more kind of lightweight and glowy products just because they feel a lot more hydrating on the skin so I'm going to share a few things with you right now and first of all uh, a few foundations that I've been really loving lately are these two here and um, this one here is the benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation and this is the one that I have on today. I've had this on in quite a few of my recent videos and I love it. It's one of those foundations that looks better with time. When you first apply it, you know, it looks good and everything but it's like maybe about 5-10 minutes later is when you actually start to see. So if it's just sort of like melts into the skin and just blurs all your imperfections, all your pores and everything like that. It's kind of like a foundation that gets better um, with time. So. I am really loving this, it really does uh, blur the skin, I really think it does. Um, and this one here um, I'm liking as well, this is the Flower Light Illusion. Um, so both of these are very kind of lightweight in formula. Um, this one has more of a kind of glowy finish. This one I would say doesn't have really a glowy finish to it, it doesn't really have a matte finish to it, it's like somewhere in between really. But this one definitely has more of a kind of glowy dewy finish to it, um, which is nice. Both of them have SPF in them as well, which is great if you're going to be out in the sun. Um, we don't really get much sun where I am, but if you're in more of a sunny climate and place, then they'll be great. Now, something else I've been really loving lately as well is using more setting sprays. So, I've always been into setting sprays, not always actually, that's a lie. I have only gotten into setting sprays over the past, I would say, year. And now, I'm, and now I'm totally obsessed with them. Uh, but a few here that I'm really love and I think they're great for this um, summertime is these two. Well, actually I actually have four. So these two here, this one is the Anastasia Dewy Set Setting Spray. This one is amazing if you want that full on kind of glowy finish. This one's going to give you that glow. Love that. Um, this one here from MAC, this is MAC's Fix Plus, such a cult classic product, it is amazing, it works, it keeps your makeup in place all day, keeps you really hydrated and gives a really nice fresh look to the skin really. And then these two I've been really enjoying as well, this one I've had for uh, about over a year um, and I used it, I think it was little, uh, probably last summer I used it most, that's why um, it's not fully at the top there I've used so much of it because uh, when I got the Max Fix Plus I was totally into that and I sort of um, forgot about this one but I put this back out again for this summertime coming because this is the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe vera with aloe sorry cucumber and green tea which again there's so many benefits in there for the skin and um, cucumber super refreshing on the skin great for summertime so I've put that back out again and been really enjoying that and um, I'm going to actually spray a little bit of this right now because it's super super duper refreshing 
and then this one here I've been really enjoying actually before I apply my makeup so I spray this all over my face once I've applied my moisturizer and this is the MUA Pro Base Cooling Setting Spray um, and it's an all day long wear spray so really really enjoying this on my skin before my makeup just kind of preps the skin beforehand and gives you a nice cooling um, effect so loving that I've also been going for more of a lightweight concealer and not as full coverage as I usually go for you know I, I usually use the Too Faced Born This Way <clears throat> multi use sculpting concealer which is as you guys probably know that is quite a full coverage and quite I would say heavier concealer which to me I don't mind wearing on an everyday basis but some for some people it's a bit too much but um, lately I've been going for this one here this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer this is so nice it has like such a nice um, lightweight formula feels super hydrating under the eyes and I just love the finish of it you know it covers well um, it's not as full coverage as the Too Faced one but it still covers really well and it has a really nice hydrating feeling for under the eye so been really enjoying that um, lately and then for lips I kind of always go for um, glossy lips that's just my thing um, but I put out these ones again here that I'm really really obsessed with right now and it, they are the L'Oreal Color Rich color rich shine lipsticks these are absolutely amazing these are super super duper hydrating on the lips and there's so many amazing colors in this range actually um, now these are also lips that you can apply without basically having to use a mirror they have a really lovely hydrating and glossy juicy finish to them I've been really obsessed with these lately and um, my favorite shade at the moment is the beige in the city one which is a little bit more of a kind of nudie peach shade loving that I have that on my lips today um, but there is amazing amazing shades in this collection um, I also really like the hashtag MLBB which is my lips but better shade so that's some makeup bits that I've been loving lately and I think they're very kind of summer appropriate and they make me feel really good when wearing them so yeah now guys that is my top tips and simple ways to get in myself ready for this summertime and um, now I'm no health expert or fitness expert but these are just some things that I have been loving doing lately and I think they're really working for me so I thought I would share them with you because like yeah I'm super into them and I would like to start incorporating some more lifestyle and a uh, health and well-being content on my channel let me know if that's something you would like to see more on my channel and um, either give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below that is it for this video guys i want to give another shout out to asim for sending me over that product super excited about it can't wait to see what it does you know for you know my bum area and my kind of cellulite things like that that i have um yeah i will keep you updated in that in a few months time but yeah that is it guys thank you so much for watching uh, i really hope you liked this video and enjoyed it and give it a big thumbs up if you did also hit the subscribe button just down below before you go and i will speak to you very soon in my next video bye, bye.